I know I said I wasn't going to do a ranked boss for a few months, but there's going to be an exception for this one because, well, it's not as much of a pain because there's no more farms for this one. In fact, the only towers that are enabled are the ones that have paragons. So basically, our farming is just boat farming and NG trap, which is pretty simple. On top of that, it is easy mode. So yes, it is doable. A lot of people, just on paper, it looks kind of hard, but it's actually not that bad, even without the farm tower. If you guys recall, I did a blue and area snow farm run a long time back. That one used sniper farming. But yeah, this time we have a map with lots of water space. And people are aware of the anti trap now being good. So no, I am doing a ranked mode, but I'm not going to try hard that much compared to the other week. This will be just casual rank time. If it's not great, then so be it. Anyways, the early game strategy is we rush a merchant man boat. That's what we do before Balloon Trap, because Balloon Trap isn't that efficient until the uh, rounds start getting more dense. So that would be around, like, 30s. I assume we'd also want to go for a Grape Shot, because we need damage to beat the AI rounds before we get a penalty. Hang on, is it true that there's double amount of Balloons too? Because I think that seems... Okay, that does make sense, actually. So NK gave you more money for the early game by stacking the Balloons twice, it seems. Because if you notice, the dart is 3 pierce, but it's only hitting 2 balloons. Yeah, I suppose that explains why you can get a merchant man around 10, because you definitely can't get that for the normal rounds. Good to know, I guess. I think after our 4th fourth, fourth man, we go for the balloon trap, because uh, that sets up for round 25 nicely. Apparently, that's round you want to get it, now that you get double the balloons. So, yeah. Alright, and there it is. 014 trap round 25. And uh, now we see how much money we can make before round 40. Okay, we leaked one lead. I'll buy a hotshot on this one. Actually, what I should be doing is I should be going for a uh, Pat. Because I have him as hero. And I'm going to use him to help beat tier 1. So what I'm thinking is a perma charge. I'm going to shout out Punji for this one. I've been looking at a bit of his boss content. And it really helps with uh, getting the strategy down. So apparently what you want is you want to get overclock before round 40 although i kind of messed up because i didn't save enough money although maybe i can make enough from the balloon trap not a big deal but it certainly would be nice to have you know so first off favorite trades and we'll sell half the boats for now we'll probably have to get rid of a majority of them so you want to buy overclock and uh, there's a spot somewhere around here for the boomerang where it won't get stunned and you want to make sure your tower doesn't get stunned because the the stun duration is way too long for Elite Vortex. I think we stop here and let's play. It's only three dollars to go, so I might make money from one trap here. Like from the mobile here, come on. There we go, got it. So strong, and let's use the ability now. And pad as well for plus one damage. And the oak lock. If it gets stunned, I restart. And it got stunned, so let's restart from round 40. It's too low. Overclock? So watch here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. You see it's still attacking. So as long as we just keep it up, keep up that pace, then it will never get stunned. Unfortunately, I think I probably should move my overclock because uh, that would... That kills the duration because... Yeah, Vortex is stunning it. I gotta restart this, right? Yeah, just for the sake of it, I think this deserves a restart. So yeah, this will require one more boat sell. But it's what you gotta do sometimes. And now let's go again, and hope we get a solid time. I think it's about a, as good as I can do without, you know, destroying my eco entirely. I think I also made a bit of an oopsie. My favorite trades is a bit out of range of the uh, firma chart, so I'm gonna need to buy this one to favorite trades. So that's not too big a deal, but that does suck. Yeah, this is definitely one of the uh, most unique strategies we have to use for tier 1 elite ranks because, yeah. Firm charge is not that good an option. You see the 2 minute time? That's pretty rough. I could probably sell this thing too. Yeah, I'll sell it early. Because I don't need the uh, overclock anymore. And... Uh, yeah, that was insanely long. Here's Drain Bar though. So now... Let's quickly finish all 20 boats for the Drain Empire. There we go, 20 stacks, upgrade all them to your trades, and uh, I think after that, you want to go for the XXXL trap, because it beats the 50s easily, and it gives you money. 
So for those wondering what Tier 2 is, it is Dark Paragon. Yes, you can form a Dark Paragon because it's easy mode. And again, double balloons equals lots of money flowing in. That's why I didn't sell every boat for Tier 1, because I want to make sure I could afford the Dark for Tier 2. Damn, $8,000. Did you see that? That's a lot of money from that big trap. Do you think it's worth it just getting more boats? Even though they don't get the tr train up our buff, they probably make back their money. So I should have been doing that earlier, huh? Yeah. It takes like three rounds with selling for them to pay off. So it's absolutely worth it to finish it off. I know I didn't place the boats as well as I could there, but nobody cares. Well, except for my rank score. But it's fine. All right, so 193k before round 60. I think I'll sell the big trap, right? First off, let me move it so I get the money from it and then sell. We need to sell 130k of farms. That's going to be... Uh, ouch, I think. Well, on the bright side, we can always fit them better next time, right? How many do I have to sell? Ouch, this is going to hurt my wallet. You see why I didn't sell everything for a uh, tier one last time? What the hell? Ouch, I have to keep- I have to sell everything but three boats? Okay, this is, um, kind of rough. So apparently this one is what you do to get degree 30, yes. Alright, let's see. So, no stun, no stun. But did I put it too far back? Let me just see how many seconds of downtime. One, two, three. Um, let's- let's actually save some time here. Let's inch it up a little bit. Okay, I believe this is way higher up this time. So let's do it. And here we go. Do you see how fast it killed, by the way? Lightning McQueen speed. And there we go. No stun, no stun. Let's see if there's any damn time. Uh, it's only one second. Yep, that's perfectly fine with me. Perfectly fine. That's about as close to an in skill as you can get. For uh, tier 2 here. Now, tier 3 is going to be interesting. Because we have multiple paragons we can choose from. Not sure which one yet, but... For now, we'll uh, just farm... And decide later. So now, please kill. Let's sell this immediately, by the way. And you want to go for the XXXL trap back. And at the front. This time, so that it pops BFB as well, getting penalty. Like this. Just stuff it at the entrance. And yeah, we got to get back our train of our army. Okay, so this is going to suck because I don't think I can upgrade all these to favorite trades, right? Actually, no, I can. I can. I think we're just barely going to be able to get back our uh, trade empire army. And there it is. 15k left over. Apparently 24 in this pond and then 7 in this pond. I think what else I need is uh, to get a cleansing foam up here. And maybe an extra trap behind the exile just to make a little bit more money from losing get past the trap. But I doubt things really get past... It's looking like if I have to, if I'm going to go for NG or Ninja, I, n I might need to sell farms for uh, Tier 3 because I'm not making money fast enough because we're at a cap. Which is not good, so maybe I'll do a cheaper option. Like Dart or Boomerang. Apparently Boomerang's good because the Moldon goes with the shield. Well, yeah, we'll experiment. Alright, 522k. So I'm going to start with the Dart Paragon, see how that does first off. Okay. So let me see, I have, a, I have an extra 100k to work with if... I don't want to sell any boats, which I don't really want to. I could get a higher degree if I went for uh, 30 fan clubs, but I'm going to save a bit of money here. I didn't get the power from the, from the uh, tiers instead, so 100 tiers gets a 10k power. We'll just ignore the uh, 10k power you get from the uh, money you spend, because it's just too much money. And I'd rather save that for uh, a later tier, I guess. Yeah, so apparently I need 25... Uh, of the 022 darts. These are the cheapest tiers you can get. Alright, let's see what degree we get. 38. Okay, that's kind of uh, unfortunate. I, I probably need a bit of pops and or money more, more money spent. But let me just see first off, okay? 3, 2, 1, go. I have a feeling this spot gets stunned. No, it doesn't. Okay. It actually kills it really fast. So I might just take this, honestly. If it works. Like, if anything, I'm probably going to save less than a third of a second. From getting a higher degree. Well, maybe like a second, but I don't really care about it too much when we have like a 10 minute time at the end, right? That Dark Paragon actually does mad damage. I still think Boom Paragon's a lot faster. Alright, if you guys say so. Maybe I'll still try Boomerang. Let me just see what time this is. So, four, right before 440, okay? 
Now we're going to spend money on restarting to round 80. Just out of curiosity. So apparently it, has, it, it, it doesn't have to be in range at all because it's only the explosion that matters here. And that's global, That's almost global range. The rest don't need an attack. And perfect. That's We got the threshold, 320. If it's below 440, we take it. Otherwise, we go back to Dark Monkey. Uh, is it just me, or is that absolutely terrible? Well, it is doing damage through the shield, so actually it might not be as bad as we think. It would definitely be slower if not for it not going through the shield. Nah, this is definitely slower, guys. It's not even close. There's still... We need 15 seconds to go, and it's... Three skills left. Yeah, I'm gonna need that 300 monkey money back to whoever suggested the boomerang, because uh, this is slower by uh, quite a lot. 400 monkey money, actually. Well, you can always pay it back by spending monkey money in the BTD6 store using code ISAB. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, while we're already here, let's try top in case it avoids stun and attacks immediately. So here we go. Let's see if this spot gets stunned or not. Looks pretty far away from Vortex to me. And yeah, pretty much as fast as uh, down here. So I'm okay with this. Because like, it's in the corner regardless. And this spot, yeah, it instantly starts attacking instead of having to wait. I probably should have done the fit too, honestly, but it's whatever. Oh, this might save a lot more than more, a lot more time than I think. Yeah. Remember it was 439 last time. I saved six and a half seconds. Wow. Huge. I think what I gotta do now is I gotta sell this, right? For Bolt Paragon. I think I have enough money for it. I need to get the tier fives first though. Alright, so I gotta sell the big trap now. And so we have the neighbor of the sea. So the reason you want to go for this is to make more money. Although I shouldn't actually get it now because I don't have enough money to drop the Empire army back. Because this double stacks the Train Empire, but I don't have enough. It's pretty fun. So one more round, I guess. Alright, so new boat spot. Just because I feel like it will get stunned. And you want the plane damage more than the grape. Alright, let's get working. Not all stacks back yet, but we'll get it quickly. Let's hope I didn't mess this up, because round 92, I only have 8 rounds to build the Dark Paragon. Do I make 40k per round with these boats? If I'm looking at that, that's 30k per round, which is a bit short. Well, we're not restarting, guys. No restarting. 353k, okay, yep. It's gonna need to require a couple cells, but I can manage. I need to sell $65,000 worth of boats, so that's 10 of the flavor trades. Unlucky. Well, we still have a very good army. 18 stacks. We'll get them back very quickly. So, first off, we gotta make sure it doesn't get stunned. Because if it gets stunned, I gotta find a new, new place for this Dark Monkey. Let me just see, though. How much harder is tier 4 to kill? Well, a bit slower, but if it doesn't stun... That's good. Okay, it doesn't stun. That's perfect. It gets... It's permanently attacking the Dark Monkey. That's huge. Alright, we will take this time with open arms. And we'll now keep the Dark Monkey, because there's no reason to... We can't really feasibly get a higher degree on it. We'll just focus on getting a high degree uh, engineer. Actually, engineer or ninja? I'm not sure. Alright. Almost six minutes in and... Uh, yeah, so far so good. How much damage has the boat been doing? 2.4 million. 4. 6. Yeah, this is no slouch. Just look at it. That's pretty solid for a degree 41 boat. And there it is. Six minutes. Tier 4. Nice too. For now, we just... See how much money we have for uh, the last year. I don't think we can do uh, Ninja and NG. Although that would be nice. Holy crap, I cannot afford NG Paragon. 638k. You know what? We'll use this time to experiment. So, uh, I really want to get the cell back off the explosion. So, uh, if it doesn't get stunned, I'm literally going to put the NG in the corner. Because, yeah, the nail gun isn't that good anyways. It's made the century explosion. So, uh, okay. Okay. I actually don't have to sell that much. It's only 550k. So, that's a 37. Again, I can't go to 40 because I just don't have enough pops and or money to spend on higher degree. Alright, so end 119 and... Uh, Alright, perfect. So, we have all three sentries down and the cooldown up. So, that means we get the explosion off immediately. And yeah, we do have pads. So, I guess I'm going to do a fan club. A plaza fan club ability. Okay, this is probably as much as I want to do. So, uh, let's go. Three, two, one. Begin. And do I want to replace it immediately? Yes, I do. That does no damage, guys. I just replaced it. Is that better than ninja, you think? The thing is, the 
The ninja explosion is absolutely cracked. The ninja ability is like 200k from each explosion. Feels like that's better than where we're getting, but I, I could be wrong. We shall see. I feel like our Dark Monkey is just going to be out of action for a long time. So you think it's worth like just selling it and buying a new one real quick at the bottom? Yeah, maybe I'll keep the money. Like not spend the money on the the flagships and the Plants of Fan Club. Just so I could uh, put it in a better spot. And now my boat's going to get stunned. That's not good. This is not good, guys. It's going so, so far right now. It's not even halfway. Can I even kill this? Wait, wait a minute. We don't have trouble killing tier 5 at this rate. Yeah, at this point, the thing is, Vortex is moving so fast that the sentries are out of range. Like, I don't even get the, the Paragon Explosion off. That's why I'm doing no damage. I think it's got to be Ninja, guys. I'm not going to pop this. Yeah, see? The explosions. I have to premeditate it way ahead of time. But that's just simply not going to be good for me. You know, it's funny, even though we're almost letting it leak, this is still clearly a top 50 time by a, a landslide. Question is, can I even pop it in time? I think I'm going to have the energy paragon get stunned, which is a big deal. But my bull paragon will get stunned, so do some damage. Yep, it's looking like a 12 minute time, so at this point, let's try the ninja. So we want to spam 202 ninjas for the cheapest, and again, the money that I have left over will be used to relocate the dark paragon. All right. Let's see the degree. Let me just sell a couple of you. 30 is good. Oh, sorry. 20, 20. I forgot because we don't have the extra Dark Paragon level. So 20 is good because we get the threshold. It is time to game, boys and girls. See how much damage this thing is doing? 262, 13399. About 130,000 damage per Sticky Bomb. That's not as much as I thought, actually. But that is still faster than NG, right? It, it better be. Or I'll be disappointed. I don't know why, but to me it feels really slow. I think we go for Dark Paragon now, guys. So let me sell. Go, 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 go. Degree 38. Yep. As usual. How is our Dark Paragon looking? With that placement. See? No stun. No stun. It's at the exact right place. If we start at 6 minutes, then yeah. It's about 12 minutes for this one. Oh, and then here's where it gets stunned again. Okay, this is bad. This is the point where uh, maybe I can use money for a third cell pack. I don't know. Am I going to have to restart two times here? I feel like this is still faster uh, by a good amount. So no stun on the Dark Monkey again. I feel like the next, the next time a Vortex pops, it will stun the Ninja. So I don't know what to do at that point. I feel like if I sell the, the Ninja and the Dark Monkey... To quickly buy back a, a makeshift degree one ninja. That'll be faster than having it stunned for an infinity time. If that makes sense. I think it's a good idea. So let me watch carefully. We'll sell the next sticky bomb at breakpoint. Wait for it. Now. Okay. So I need to go for the Grand Sabo or the Grand Master. There we go. Grand Sabo, pause. Pause, pause, pause. I just sell you, and I have enough for you now. There. I know it's degree one. Good enough. Quickly kill this. This might still be a... Uh, a 12 minute. Sub 12? No, guys. This is the exact same as uh, Engineer. Oh, boy. Which one do I choose? They're literally the same. Okay, let's go back. I'll try one more time. So, top ninja is actually good for two things. So, the thing the thing is, the main shurikens, they seek. So, if the vortex is out of range, it can still attack Bluntia and then have it do damage that way. So, I would say I have about 190k worth of boats right now. So, I could just save for the Boomer Paragon. Let me just see how much money I have. But I'm thinking if I wait, like, three rounds, because it takes ten rounds for it to exit. So, three, maybe four rounds of income and I get the Moon Paragon in time, will be better than replacing the Dark Monkey. So, 3, 2, 1. Hopefully it's under 12 this time. This will definitely, this is absolutely guaranteed to stun the Ninja, but again, we're hoping stun 2 doesn't affect the Ninja. That way it'd be the exact same as the other way around. So I think if I look at the math correctly, I need 3 more rounds. Once it hits round 125, I'll probably have enough money, and yep, Ninja doesn't get stunned. Huge. Why do I feel like I can go for it right now, actually? Let me just see. Do I sell now? You know what? It's actually 6.4k, so I actually have enough money 
I was basing my sell cost on 6k. But since this is higher... Screw you. I'm going for it. If only I could sell the stun boats. I can't do that. Come on. Hey, stun. Could you wear off? It's not wearing off. Oh, no. No. I should have sold these actually earlier. This is actually... Unlucky. If I sold it one round earlier... That bull paragon would be, would be mine. That boom paragon, sorry. Okay, I can sell now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Got it, got it, got it. All right. So in the corner. Again, this thing's um, glaive can still hit it. So we're chill. And the mulp domination effects. Last skull. Yep. We got one minute to kill the last layer. Okay, this is actually still taking a long time. Is it really not that much faster? Come on. Well, you know what? At this point, I give up. It's the same time every time I tried it. Every single time. So, whatever. This was faster for like 5 seconds though. Unfortunately, I think it's a bit off. Sub 12, yeah, 3 seconds off. Whatever. I said I wasn't going to spend too much time on a ranked time, so... Take it or leave it. That puts us in 20th place, which is uh, definitely safe enough for a top 50, so I'm happy. Either way, um, uh, please. More no farms uh, bosses, because uh, it's definitely much less annoying. Not having to fill any time out with farms. So I quite enjoyed this one.